seems like everybody's super duper excited about OnlyFans nowadays. Whether it be adult stars, exotic dancers, actually even regular celebrities like a Bella Thorne. Um, I think that's how you say her name. Bella something. I think she got like a million new subscribers and like a day. But I got a question about OnlyFans around taxation. So I figured I'd take a minute and I'll answer it. So if you're interested to find out about taxation when you work on OnlyFans, come on over to the other side. Hey everybody, Kamari Ellis here with the Finance Rebel talking about taxes today. If you're new to my channel, I talk about all things money, taxes, wealth, stock, business, anything about money we talk about here. Basically, I'm a business lover and I love to talk about all of those things. And my goal is overall is to help people raise their overall financial IQ. So I got a question in my DM on Instagram asking me, do OnlyFans pay taxes? All right, so basically what they're asking me is, do OnlyFans content creators actually pay taxes on the money that they make on OnlyFans sites? And yes, they are supposed to pay taxes, right? All the OnlyFans content creators that are over there get a 1099 at the end of the year. And so there's a video I did quite not too long ago, about a, about a year ago, talking about, con excuse me, not content, but independent contractors, right? Because that's what the OnlyFans um, content creators are. They're independent contractors that get paid from OnlyFans. And OnlyFans issues a 1099. So about a year ago, I did a video talking about 1099 contractors or 1099 workers and what they need to do and what they need to think about as it relates to their taxes. I'll link to that video um, in the description below and somewhere around here. But yes, again, OnlyFans content creators have to file taxes, or they should file taxes. Whether they do or whether they don't, I really don't know. I can't attest to, but they're supposed to. Why? Because OnlyFans gives the IRS a 1099, right? So OnlyFans, and it's on their website, I'll share it here. OnlyFans actually shares with the IRS how much money they're paying. So if you're working on OnlyFans or any other um, site, whether you get money through PayPal, Cash App, Etsy, um, Amazon, most of the times they all do some type of 1099 form reporting to the IRS. So it will behoove you to file your taxes because you're a business owner. You get to write off all your deductions, but file your taxes, you know, file your income, report your expenses, claim all your deductions, and live in peace because the IRS can cause havoc at times. All right. So if you have any other questions about taxes, finances, investments, stocks, feel free to shoot them in a DM, shoot them to me in a DM, or shoot me a text at 484 278 1357. Again, 484. 278-1357. But I want to know, what kind of work do you do? So do you get a 1099? And if you get a 1099, what kind of work do you do to get that 1099? Drop that in the comments below. I'll talk to you soon. Kamari Ellis out. Bye-bye.